please rise for a brief moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, New Brighton. Today is Thursday, January 25th. Seniors, Fast Food Competition Night is taking place on Tuesday, February 13th at 5 p.m. Fast Food is a crucial step in accessing financial aid for college. If you plan to attend, your form is due in guidance by Friday, February 9th. Attention all students, there will be a ski slash snowboarding trip on Friday, March 15th at Holiday Valley. Sign-ups will begin Monday, January 29th in the South Commons at 7.15. There are only 45 avail spots available on the bus. Your homeroom teachers will be handing out detailed information about the trip. See Mr. Hicksonbaum. Valentine's candy grams will be on sale all, all next week, so please remember to bring a dollar or two in next week if you would like to purchase one. Students and staff can purchase a candy gram for $1 and send it to other students and staff here at our school. A candy gram is a message slip with a piece of candy attached to it. The message slip will be on sale next week during all lunch periods for $1 each. Any student wanting to take the ASVAB on February 8th must turn in their forms to guidance office by February 2nd. Any junior or senior interested in attending a field trip to the Butler County Community College in Cranberry on Thursday, February 1st can stop in guidance to sign up and pick up a permission slip on January 16th when the new semester begins. All completed permission slips must be turned in by January 26th. The registration deadline for the June 1st SAT taking place here at New Brighton High School is May 17th. If you are a junior that plans to attend college, it is highly recommended that you take this SAT. Make sure to sign up soon before the seats fill up. If you think you may qualify for a fee waiver, please stop and see your counselor. A representative from CCAC will be here Thursday, February 1st, during fourth period. If you are interested in meeting with them, you can sign up and pick up a gold signature form in the guidance office. This will count as a college visit for your career portfolio. Every student must complete a career portfolio each year. Check the written announcement documents for dates. This year due dates are as follows. If you have a lost jacket, thermos, toolbox, earrings, or anything, please check the lost and found box in the guidance office located between the two desks. There is also a single red earbud, earbud case, and chapstick that have been found. Please claim these items if they are yours. Any junior interested in attending a field trip to the college fair at the David L. Lawrence Convention on February 7th can sign up and pick up a permission slip in the guidance office. This will count as a college visit for your career portfolio. Now on to sports. Save the dates. Varsity cheer trial practices February 27th to 28th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. main gym. Trials February 29th, sign in starting at 6 p.m. Trials begin at 7.30 in the main gym. More info to come. Good luck to the swim team at their away meet against Beaver tonight at 6. Good luck to the girls basketball team at their away game against Southside tonight at 7.30. Now on to the weather. Weather for today is light rain with a 30% chance of precipitation, a high of 56 and a low of 45. Now back to the news. Lunch for today will be macaroni and cheese, garlic toast, broccoli pizza, applesauce, breaded chicken salad, chicken sandwich, wraps and hoagies, and pizza. Menu subject to change. What subjects slash grades, if any, do you teach? If you do not teach a specific subject, please describe what you do on a daily basis at New Brighton. I teach 10th and 11th grade. Uh, I'm a learning support teacher, uh, and I'm in with Mr. Bogovich, uh, periods 4 and 6, with Mr. Nagel, periods 1 through 3, that's for Algebra 1B, and with Mr. Frederick, period 8, for Geometry. That's mostly 11th graders. Where did you grow up? I went to Moon Area High School uh, for well, for my whole life, and I graduated from there in 2018. And then I went to uh, Penn State Barron, uh, starting in 2018, for my undergraduate degree, which was in history. And then I got my master's in Pitt, right at, at Pitt, right after that, uh, which I got, it's a certificate to teach social studies 7 to 12, and a you know, degree to teach uh, special ed pre-K to 12. And I finished that up last June.
What is your favorite type of music or what is your favorite band slash singer? I like rock music a lot. Um, I don't know. Velvet Underground, Rolling Stones, Beatles. Um, I like a lot of classic rock. Uh, and I always have. What is your favorite television show? Uh, probably Seinfeld. I always watch it with my family and my friends like it too, so it's, it's my go-to comfort food show. Did you play any sports or were you in any clubs in high school or college? Yeah, in high school I did cross country and track. Uh, I did track up until my senior year. I didn't do it my last year. I did cross country all the way through, including uh, eighth grade and middle school. Um, I was in the science club, which was basically just the recycling club. Uh, we got to go to the zoo at the end of the year. Um, and I was in volleyball club, I think, my freshman year, either volleyball or dodgeball. But, uh, and then nothing really in college, just kind of stayed active with my friends. What was your favorite subject in school? Uh, so it was always social studies. Um, like in middle school, I liked it a lot, but um, as I got into high school, I got I th started thinking about getting like, more serious about it, um, and which kind of led to why I got my history degree at uh, Penn State Barron uh, as my undergrad. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, the horror movie from 1982. Uh, I'm not a huge horror movie fan, but that's I love it. Uh, I think it's my favorite movie overall. What is your favorite food slash drink? My favorite food is probably just like a cookout cheeseburger. Um, favorite drink is probably Coke. If I could have that meal for every meal, I probably would without having a, you know, health problems. If you could change one problem in the world, what would it be? I think a big problem is uh, a lack of good education, uh, which I think goes partly towards explaining why I'm here. Uh, I care very, you know, very much about it. Um, so if I could change one problem, I'd bring a more equitable education to more people around the world. If you couldn't meet anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, probably it's an easy answer, but I'd probably meet like Abraham Lincoln. Uh, I like history, like I said. Um, I like the 19th century a lot too. I find it interesting. So I. You'd be hard pressed to find somebody more important for that time period, so I'll go with him. How has your experience at New Brighton been so far? My experience at New Brighton has been fantastic so far. I know it's only been two and a half months or so, um, but I'm a brand new teacher. It's my first full-time permanent job. Uh, they took a chance on me, and I think it's you know I'm very grateful for that opportunity. Uh, I really like all my coworkers, all the other teachers at the school. Um, administration's been great. Kids have been great. So I'm looking forward to a long time here. Is there anything else that you would want the New Brighton High School population to know about you? I would want them to know that I have uh, basically like an open door policy that, um, you know, if you ever need anything, whether you have me in class or not, uh, my door is open. Um, I'm always willing to help. You just have to, you know, I can't read minds. None of us can. So just it, it helps if you, uh, you know, let us know what you're thinking, what you need. Um, and if I can accommodate you in any way, I will.